Hi guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my Korean world! This video is going to be all about dressing for winter in Korea. A lot of people have messaged me and asked me how they should dress for winter in Korea. So I thought I would just make this video and share with you my tried and true method for staying warm during the winter. It gets really cold here. So let's get started. Winters in Korea are the coldest that I've ever experienced in my life and I've lived in a lot of different places. The temperature here often goes below freezing and the wind just chills you to the bone. I would say that the coldest time is from late December through February and I actually try to stay indoors as much as possible during this time but when I do go out I'm going to show you how I dress. You might think that everyone in Seoul dresses very fashionably but in winter I think the goal is just to keep warm. If you see people dressing really cute it's probably because they drove and didn't take public transportation or have to go outside which is actually quite common here especially during the winter and summer months. If you're traveling here, you'll probably be taking public transportation or cabs and going outside, so you probably want to dress warm. Number one, base layer, heat tech or thermals. I have thermals that are made of wool and wool keeps you really warm, but it tends to make me itch. So after discovering Uniqlo heat tech, I started to wear that as a base layer. There are three different kinds of heat tech, regular heat tech, extra warm, and ultra warm. The regular heat tech is lightweight and really kind of sheer and this will do when it's above freezing and not super windy but on those really cold below freezing winter days you want to wear extra or ultra warm heat tech. Uniqlo isn't the only store that sells this. You can buy these kinds of thermals at places like Emart in Korea or Seiyu in Japan. Heat tech functions sort of like wool by absorbing the moisture that your body emits and then trapping it in the fibers of the fabric. On cold days, I'll wear both a heat tech top and leggings as a base layer. Number two, a wool sweater. You wanna look for a sweater that has high wool content. Nowadays, a lot of brands fill their sweaters with cheap fillers like nylon or polyester, but you really want something that gets closer to 100% wool. I have a couple of really old sweaters from Banana Republic and Club Monaco that are 80 to 100% wool. Wool has a natural layer of keratin, which is a protein that all animal hair contains, and that helps to maintain body temperature. And on top of that, wool hair fibers act as an insulator to trap the air inside the cloth, which helps to stabilize your body temperature. Since air conducts heat, this means that the warmth that you might generate through exercise or general movement also gets trapped by the wool, which keeps you even warmer. I think it's better than heat tech, but since it makes my skin itch, I don't like to wear it directly on my skin. And if it's not really that cold or you want to take some cute photos on your trip, this is where you should change up your top to a cute sweater or something like that. Number three, windproof pants. If you want to be cute, wear jeans or a skirt, but if you want to be really warm and you're okay dressing kind of sporty, then pick up a pair of these windproof pants from Uniqlo. They only sell them in the men's section, but I can wear a men's small and I think it looks okay. They have the look of joggers, but they're ultra warm and they really protect you from the wind and cold. When I wear my jeans, my legs are always cold and you can't always fit a heat tuck under your jeans. So I wear my black windproof pants pretty much all winter. You don't really need to wear heat tuck leggings under this, but I do when it's super cold. For my kids, I buy them leggings with this furry fleece inside and it's also insulated so it sort of has heat tuck properties. I bought this online on G Market for about $7 a pair and I think you can get fleece lined leggings at Gap or Old Navy or Carter's. And for men, Uniqlo sells these fleece lined sweats, which my husband wears. And I also got a pair for myself to wear around the house. They are so cozy and warm, but they aren't windproof. So they're not as warm as those windproof sweats I told you about earlier. A fleece or an ultralight down vest or jacket from Uniqlo. I wear a fleece on top of my wool sweater. I have a really old North Face fleece that I wear a lot and I recently got a Patagonia fleece for Christmas and these are super warm. You can also get an inexpensive fleece at Uniqlo that's really warm and it's also super soft. Alternatively, I see a lot of people wearing these ultra light down thin coats or vests under their jackets, especially if they're wearing a suit or going to work. I guess it's a little more polished than a fleece jacket. Number six, a warm coat. You want something that's knee length or longer and ideally with a hood. 
I have a long ultralight down coat from Uniqlo, which is why I wear the fleece underneath, but if you have a really warm, windproof coat like a North Face coat, then you don't need the fleece. Right now, these sleeping bag coats are trending in Korea, especially among high school kids, so you'll see them all moving in packs wearing these warm black sleeping bag coats. I got my coat at Uniqlo, and I think they have really affordable ones for around $100 or so on sale. And I like mine because it has a hood, so I don't have to remember to wear a hat. And also, it zips up really high, so I don't need to remember my scarf either, which is great. Because I have to always keep track of my kids' stuff as well as my own. You can buy these down jackets at tons of places, and I feel like the warmest would be from performance retailers like North Face or super expensive ones from brands like Canada Goose or Montclair. I have so many coats, and I used to work full time in DC and New York where it's not as cold, so I got a lot of use out of them. But here in Korea, even though people are more fashionable, I still stick to this long down coat because. Maybe I care a little bit less about how I look, but also it's just so much colder here. I would choose warmth over being cute any day. So I just feel like it's insanely unbearably cold some days, so I just wear my warmest coat. On my feet, I usually wear Uggs during the winter when it's dry, and I wear Sorel boots when it snows. And let me tell you, that sheepskin and insulation makes such a big difference. I got some Uggs that don't scream Uggs. They're really warm boots, and they just look like ordinary boots. But when I wear tennis shoes, I can really feel the difference. Gloves, hats, and face masks. If you have a jacket like mine, then you probably don't need a hat or a scarf. But otherwise, remember to bring your accessories. Gloves are always nice, especially if you're pushing a stroller or carrying your kid, then you have to have your hands out. And face masks are also popular here. In Japan, they're used if you're sick to prevent others from getting sick. But in Korea, we use them, number one, to filter out pollution. And there are special masks for that. And number two, for warmth in the winter time. Finally, heat packs. I dress really warm, so I normally don't use a heat pack, but if you want to be a little more stylish and wear clothes that are not as warm, but a lot cuter, then you can buy heat packs. And just shake them up, they get really hot after about a minute, and they even have ones you can stick on your shoe or on your body. So you can get these at the convenience store or Daiso, and in the winter you can find them just about everywhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below how you stay warm during the winter. And if you're looking for fun things to do in Korea, check out this playlist right here. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.